Hey guys, uh, I'm going to just do a little video of some stuff I got. Um, I went to the store, it's uh, called Habitat Restore. Uh, it's in Michigan, with, uh, in like Clinton Township, some of St. Clair County, I mean St. Clair sh Shores, like on the borderline. Um, it's basically like um, a Salvation Army, except uh, they raise money to build those homes, you know, if you see on shows for people, like in uh, New Orleans, that their houses uh, were like destroyed. And, uh, this store is like amazing. If you live in Michigan, check it out. Um, they have like electrical stuff. Basically, if it's a do it yourselfer, there's everything there. There's used tools, used electrical stuff like um, fuse boxes, and they have like a whole electrical section. If you're like redoing a house and you want to do it cheap, they sell like doorknobs, fans, and all this crap, like super cheap. You could get like a complete ceiling fan for like fifteen dollars with the blades and everything, with the lights and all that crap. Um, but uh, this is mainly a video for Dan Rojas. Some people know him as Green Power Science, and um, I'm gonna be sending this to him because uh, I'm gonna make a wind turbine, hopefully this uh summer, after the propeller cart, you know. And, uh, I'm gonna just show him this video, so, because, uh, he knows uh, how to, uh, put magnets in these to get, um, to generate electricity. Here's my first problem. One, two, three, four. If anybody, uh, is into electrical that knows a lot, just tell me. Uh, because I've got, like, two, you really can't see in my room, it's really dark, and, uh, it's like two lighter green, two like black lighters. And uh, I'm thinking those go together and these go together, but they're like in some like electrical box. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna just like take it apart. I already took the two long bolts that come out. And uh, yeah. So, first, let's Can you zoom out? Nope. Okay. Did he first take off this? I think it's um, uh, from like a pump or something. As you can see. It's weird. And uh, fake bearings. And uh, I'm gonna take it apart. So, uh, yeah. This should be good. Okay, there we go. And uh, the first part, I pop this thing. Out with a screwdriver. Let me just get one. By the way, uh, as I was going about uh, that restore, I got this electric motor, three bucks. I also got this fan motor, five bucks, and I got a wheelchair uh, DC electric, twenty-four volt. Uh, motor for three bucks, and I got this heavy duty plastic box like for like um shipping parts. Like, there's one there that was GM symbol on it. So, I'm gonna just pop this out real quick. I did this before, it's probably not gonna do it since some video. So Okay, let's try and get this. There we go. Sorry if my hand's in the way. It's hard working without a tripod, so... Yeah. There we go. Just get it off. Run these wires. One wire. Two wire. Three wire and four wire. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna just sorry, sorry about the bad shots. But uh, there. I'm not gonna run the wires all the way out, but just for looking at it. See uh, you can see uh the metal, like 
the metal spacings as Dan was showing in one of his vids how to put a magnet axle in here like an axle with magnets on it and it generates electricity but uh since there's like four wires I needed his help he he's good at electrical not really like hardcore electrical but he's good with it and I think he might know I'm, I'm guessing that the two light gray wires go together and the two black go together and that serves as a oh sorry for my fear and that serves as a negative and positive hopefully but it's weird since the electric motor doesn't have a ground so I guess I'll just have to get the multimeter out once I get the magnets in if this is a good one candidate to work so anyways uh, Dan you can see I got this out I just need to have it with a hammer but I don't have a hammer in my room but uh, you can see bearings and this is like the one you showed probably could tap those out when I do it but uh Dan just uh I send this to you and uh, just tell me what I need to do and uh yeah thanks for watching if you did uh I'll probably personal message you but um yeah I'm gonna just show you about the electrical motor that I was talking about these are probably gonna I bought these because they're cheap and uh good for windmills probably I got this uh this one gear motor and uh see those little things right there they actually screw off and you can replace the brushes you ju I just have to run a wire from this one and this one and screw in a wire bring it up to here and then uh that should serve as the negative and positive and uh took this off of it so uh, thanks for watching and uh so I'm quiet, uh, I can't talk that loud tonight, so I'll talk to you guys later.